Hello again from Alation Productions. Today I've got yet another long overdue update on my CNC mill project. Uh, not a tremendous amount of progress made unfortunately on it, but a little bit of progress from the last update. Uh, since then it's been Christmas and other things I've been busy with in, uh, other than this. And uh, also trying to get this thing to work too. Because um, as you can see, I have now got the control box pretty much finished. It's not totally finished. There's a few little things that need to be uh, addressed. One being uh, this little heat sink bridge here that houses my um, servo motor controllers. As you can see, that's going to have to be tucked down a little further. Right now, I've got temporary mounted on a little taller standoffs, which I was using when I was wiring this up. There's quite a few wires going very deep. As you can see going very deep into the crevices of this box and I need all the room I can get and probably still do as there is probably a possibility this needs some adjustment for wiring. Um, yeah that's one of the things with this enclosure I've discovered, besides the simple fact I would have been better off just to have bought one pre-made, um, I probably should have gotten a larger piece of aluminum for the base and had something a little bit bigger than this. This whole thing is based on a one foot by one foot piece of aluminum and without buying a two foot section of aluminum it's hard to get anything beyond that for size, even 13 by 13 inches would have been still a little bit tight but uh, would have been a little bit extra room opposed to jamming everything in there like you see. But I did get everything positioned into place and uh, while it's still not working yet I've got something to tinker with as a starting point. You can also see in my progress I got a screen put on the outside of a cooling fan and I've got these nice little combination uh, banana plug uh, crimp down connectors. You can see there's a hole right there. This will just take a regular piece of wire and it'll hold it in place. Which I'll probably use for attaching my servo motors up to for the main power. But uh, you can see I've got that working. Uh, I've got my D subs also in place for my encoders. As you might also notice, I've changed over my serial cable connection. There was a yellow cord I had, got a real great deal on it at uh, thrift shop, brand new in package even. But unfortunately, it was, um, well, I don't recall what it was for. It had a specific purpose and it was not a straight pinout. It, um, had about nine pins out of 25 that were connected straight to each other and the rest just went nowhere. So that was not going to work I discovered. And I've still got another good amount of things to discover on exactly what uh, needs to be fixed with this. Because currently at the moment I cannot seem to get communication between this box and the computer one of the big things I think we have an issue with is a simple fact this piece of junk is running Vista and that's going to be my first step to resolve and attempting to get this thing to run. Um, I'll mention it now, I'll mention it several other times too if there's any other suggestions any of you might have I'm very much open to this because I really don't know what I'm doing now at this point. Wiring up things according to the diagram here is uh, one thing, but actually getting them to run is a total another. But basically, uh, I don't seem to be getting communication between my computer and the control box. And when I turn the control box on, you know, I think it shouldn't be doing anything, but uh, all access on here to some extent they will start to sort of tick, they'll turn slightly and stop maybe at about 
oh, every second or so. It's like a clock. Just tick away there, and they shouldn't be moving at all, I'm pretty sure. Even if I didn't have any communication between the computer and the box. My guess would be that there's some uh, some trim pots that need to be adjusted in the controllers to help find a neutral point or something with the encoders. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure how to resolve that and get everything else running like it should at the moment. You can see I've got one of these pulled off so I don't continue to go one way or another and crash into a hard stop on any of the axis. I'm testing these things out. Actually my Z axis it will tick in the same manner but it ticks both up and down so it almost kinda hangs in the middle there on averaging it. But it, it shouldn't be doing that either and it's probably not good for the motor either whatever it's doing there trying to find a neutral point unsuccessfully would be my guess. Um, but without getting into too many details, technical questions, and just rambling on without uh, any, any purpose of diagnosing this thing at the moment, uh, that's basically it that I have for my updates. And I'm going to continue just to mess around with this and Hopefully I come across something to at least start heading towards success with this machine. We're getting real close mechanically with all the components being built now. There's some minor details still to be issued out and frankly stuff that can stay unresolved indefinitely. Say like the front cover for the electronics bay and other things like that. Now I've pretty much discovered that that computer there is a little bit too big for the bay to really fit in there well and it's going to stay down there at the time being I might get a smaller computer to go into that bay later or leave it alone I don't know but for now I'm just trying to get this thing to show signs that it wants to work and if anybody has any suggestions for me I'm very very eager to hear them I've tried on um, some CNC forums and nobody seems to care to respond to me at all. And I really don't know how to word any of my situations here to best describe for people so they can recognize, oh yes, this is wrong or that's wrong. And I'm just, I'm wishing now here that I would have bought the box pre-made and I would have had this thing going maybe months ago. But... Anyhow, that's what I got for updates for now. Thanks for watching. 